And what about cultural boundaries? Would a lab-grown burger made from the cells of a historical figure be illegal? What about someone from an indigenous community? What if the cells came from a culture that considers the body untouchable after death? Pretty soon, if you squint your eyes and look into the future, you'll see this becomes not about burgers, but about cultural sovereignty, about biopolitics, about the strange new terrain where bodies and identities and technologies collide. There's even another factor that's going to be at play here, which is intent attribution. Our brains are hyper-tuned to detect intention. Even in abstract patterns like dots moving on a screen, we tend to assign agency and purpose and will. This means we don't just react to what someone does, we react to why we think they did it. So if someone eats a burger grown from Nelson Mandela's cells as a political statement, that gets one reaction. If they do it for shock value, that's a different one. If they do it reverently as part of a memorial, that's something else entirely. The mental model we construct around the act changes our judgment of the act itself. So really, the legality is just the surface because underneath is our brain's endless attempt to infer motive and assign blame and detect disrespect. That's why this issue will become so much more than just a binary law. It's going to require individual analysis in each case.